welcome to the St. Louis Aquarium at Union Station. We're excited today. We sure are. Big day. <laughs> we are having breakfast with some of our salamander friends. I'm Amber. I'm here with my friend Kelsey. Hello. Hello, Kelsey. Kelsey, <laughs> what do you do here at the St. Louis Aquarium? I am one of the trainers here that get to work with all of these amazing animals. Me and my team take care of a variety of different species every single day. And today, I'm excited to introduce to you our adorable salamanders, but not just a salamander, a tiger salamander, and more than one. How many? Three. Three, and she's a great dancer. I don't know if you can tell. Thank you. Salamanders, salamanders like enjoy it. it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kelsey, tell me about the tiger salamander. Yes, so our tiger salamanders here, we have two right over this way. They are our two adults, and then we have one juvenile right over here. I don't know if you'll be able to spot them just yet. They're pretty good at hiding in their environment. Now the tiger salamanders live in all different kind of parts of North America, as far as Northern Canada and Eastern Mexico. Now they are the largest dwelling salamanders in the world. So yeah, they're pretty can, big. These can get very, very big. Now, why do you think they're called the tiger salamander? Can you tell me? Yes, I can. If you can look closely at their body, they do have stripes. Now, they are a little dirty because they were playing in the dirt this morning, but you can see that they have black and yellow stripes. They got that name, tiger salamander, due to the stripes on their body. Okay, so we can find them burrowing. Where might we find them in uh, their natural habitat? Yes, these guys are burrowers. So they love to be near ponds, rivers, and streams. They do like to be next to those kind of water environments, and they can burrow up to two feet. So if you don't see them, don't be surprised. These guys love to burrow in the dirt. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm even trying to say good morning to them and give them their breakfast and lunch and dinner, I always have to be like, where are they? And sometimes they're right in front of my face. So it sounds like they like to play hide and seek maybe a little bit? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, so the, the black and yellow markings, will it always stay that color or do their markings ever change? They can come in a variety of different colors. Um, the main color is going to be black and yellow, but they can be a little bit greenish, brownish, blackish. It helps them kind of adapt and camouflage into their environment. So you won't always see them this color. Sometimes if you can see, there is some yellow in the back, but they can be a little bit green up top or even brown. You know, I knew or I guessed what kind of color they were going to be today, so I, I tried to match yellow and black. I did not match. <laughs> well, you're aquarium colored, and that's yes. great. We love it. I'm the shirt of the water, so that <laughs> works. <laughs> okay, cool. So is a tiger salamander's population threatened, or are there a whole bunch of these all over the place? They actually have a very stable and healthy environment. Um, these guys have a great population. We don't have to worry about them right now, but they do have to deal with all of the same threats that other animals have to deal with, like pollution, um, habitat loss, wetland loss, and even acidity levels. Um, if the garbage, nasty things fall into the water, even the shorelines, it can um, damage their lifestyle. These two look like friends. <laughs> they are friends, for sure. <laughs> They're one of my favorites to look at. <laughs> <laughs> so since their population is healthy, how, how come I haven't ever seen one outside before? That is a very good question. Even myself, before working at the aquarium, I had no idea about tiger salamanders, and I was like, they are native to Missouri. You should find them here. Why can you not find them here? Well, they love to bury themselves in the dirt. Um, it's very good at different times. When it rains, you can probably see them better. So if you went down to like the shoreline, the creek areas, you might see them kind of sticking out a little bit more because they like to walk around the wetlands. But they do like to hide, and they're very good at it. Now, if you do see one of these guys, they are actually amphibians. Tiger, sal tiger salamanders look a lot like a lizard, but they are not. They're an amphibians related to the frog family. So if you do see them, you do not want to pick them up. The thing is about these guys is their skin is actually very sensitive. Kind of like a sponge, they can absorb a lot of chemicals that could be on your hands. So it's like if you're going for a walk, you can have bug spray. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes, you tell them all about it. This is Mandy, and we will talk more about it later. Um, bug spray, suntan lotion, even lotion that's scented, hand sanitizer. If we pick them up with our bare hands, it could absorb into the skin and it can damage them in ways we do not want. So that's actually why I'm wearing a glove today. So that way I am protecting them, and also you'll probably wear some gloves too. Okay, so you said that that one's Mandy. Yes. 
Okay, tell me about the other ones here. Yeah, so this one is Mandy, right in front, who decided to peer over to see how we were doing. Yeah. And then right behind her is Shere Khan. Ooh. If anyone doesn't know that name, it is the tiger from the Jungle Book. We thought it was very fitting for him to be named Shere Khan because he is a tiger salamander. Mm -hmm. Now, Mandy is a tiger salamander, so we thought Mandy. Love it. And we do have a juvenile right over here. He's a little bit smaller because he is a baby and younger. His name is Mando. Ooh, I don't know if you can what's see What's that from? Mandalorian. I hope you guys are Star <laughs> Wars fans out there. We just thought it was so appropriate because he's so awesome that we decided to name him Mando. Is the Force strong with him? I think the Force is very strong with this mm. one. We're Star Wars fans here, guys. Absolutely. <laughs> Come to the aquarium. I can get you all in the Star Wars quotes. All of, <laughs> all of the fun facts here. Great yes. time. Okay, so how do you know how old these tiger salamanders are? We actually don't know the exact age, but based on their size, we think that these two are about around three years old. They are adults, so they're a lot larger. Now, Mando is a juvenile, so based on his size as well, he, we think he's about one year old. Okay, how long typically would a tiger salamander live? So these guys can actually um, thrive under human care. They can live about 12 to 15 years. Wow. And we take really great care of these guys for sure. Okay. So that's, you know, great diet, great food, lots of love and care for that long period okay. of time. Okay. And <laughs> so this is the younger one, and these two are a little bit older. Mm -hmm. So are they at their maximum length right now, or will they grow? That is a good question. Mando will definitely grow into a very strong, young, would you say Padawan or Jedi for that one? <laughs> uh, he, the biggest they can get is six to eight inches long. This is probably the max size that R2 will get, but you know, they love to eat. So we do have to watch their weight just a little bit. But our Mando here is gonna grow a little bit larger to be about the same size as Mandy and Shere Khan. Okay, so you mm -hmm. talked earlier about how they look similar to lizards, but they aren't reptiles, they're amphibians. Mm -hmm. So can they grow their limbs back like some lizards? Yes, we actually get that question quite frequently because a lot of people think the really cool fact about lizards is that they can lose their tail. Um, the reason lizards do that is, is a protection kind of form. If a predator is chasing them and they got the tail, they just poof, tail comes right off. Now these guys actually don't have those parts of their tail bone like a lizard does. But they actually, if they lose a limb, they can regenerate it. So they can grow a leg, foot, toes, back, <laughs> but it won't come with the color. So no stripes, it would just be the color, usually black or brown. Okay, so mm -hmm. then I would say that these tiger salamanders have not lost any, any limbs. Nope, they were not in battle at all with the um, empire or the dark <laughs> side. So we don't have to worry about any lost limbs. <laughs> Great, staying safe over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so since it's breakfast today with our salamanders, can you tell us what they usually eat? Yes, well in the wild these guys are ambush predators. So that means they stay low, they wait for their prey to come to them. So maybe another reason why you don't see them out very much is they like to stay hidden and they just sit and watch until their food comes to them and they are and what you will see <laughs> that in action today all right let's do it yes now they do eat a variety of bugs snails and slugs but here at the aquarium we feed them a big variety as well cockroaches crickets wax worms and mealworms and for today we have a variety buffet we have <laughs> wax worms and mealworms for both of our salamanders all right so here is the thing folks do not blink they are very quick <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off with our adults first, and I feed them with the tongs. These guys are opportunistic feeders, which means they eat when there's opportunity. So sometimes they don't even eat when they're hungry. They just eat when there's, an, you know, a good variety. Just like in the wild, they're like, I don't know when food will come next, so I'm going to eat this amount. That can include our fingers, because this can look a little confusing. So yeah. that's why we use the tongs for our animals. I'm going to start off here. Let's see. Let's get some Mandy action in here. I've got a wax worm for her. You guys ready? Don't blink. Ooh, got it. Very good. She never misses a meal. Yum. And then we got Shere Khan over here. There we go. Even faster. <laughs> Even faster. And that is the wax worm that you think of it as like a jelly donut. It's filled with lots of gooey richness <laughs> for the salamanders. <laughs> now we want to come over here for Mando. He also has about the same diet, but a little bit less because he is still growing. 
We don't want to feed him too much. We do have to still watch the figures of our salamanders. <laughs> we weigh them about once or twice a month to make sure that they are at a healthy weight. How, how um, much can they weigh? Are they at their maximum amount they right now? They are not at their maximum amount just yet. But here's Mando. Okay, ready? This guy has got all the force. Woo! There you go. Force is strong with you. Got <laughs> it. Yep. Would you like to try? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when is the best hand to use? Put that on. I think Mando will be a great contestant for you. Okay, guys, I've never done this before. <laughs> it's the first time. You get to choose mealworm or waxworm today. It could be either one. So what kind is this? Mealworms. Mealworm. That's right. Okay. And you just put it right in front of his face, and he'll take care of the rest. All right, guys. Oh, you got a new friend, Mando. Oh, uh-oh. Get it? <laughs> he didn't get it. Oh, that is okay. It's you know, underneath. Sometimes he misses, and that's fine. That was my fault, Mando. Should I try again? Go for it. Okay. Let's do. Let's do waxworm. Let's do one of these. All right. Oh, there we Yay! go. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Still hanging out. Oh, there we go. Yes. Awesome. Yay, fun. <laughs> one of my favorite parts of the day, and definitely one of my favorite parts for guests to see when they come to the aquarium, is to see how fast these guys can actually. Yes. Eat. Okay. So is. Does he need the rest of them? Do they need these two are laying on yeah, each other? Yeah, look now. at them. They, yes, we are going <laughs> to continue feeding on. Absolutely, we want to make sure all of our animals get their full meals. Now, I unfortunately am not this fast eating my breakfast. No, I like to take my time. I like to you know watch some TV while I'm eating. Right. <laughs> do all sorts of things. What did you have for breakfast today, Kelsey? I had some eggs this morning. Yum. And coffee. Gotta have that caffeine. Gotta have coffee. Okay, so that's a good question. Do salamanders drink water? What do, what do they drink? That is a good question. They do drink water. These guys do like to live next to the water as well. They actually like to bathe in the water a lot. Sometimes we'll see these guys kind of hang out in the pools that we have for them. Um, they do, if you look closely, you would think that these guys are slimy, but they actually are not. These guys don't have scales, so they look more wet and slimy, but they are not. They actually have a more rubber feel to them. I was going to say they look, they look pretty wet, and that if I touch them, I feel like I might get a little, a little bit of slime. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you're saying no? Nope. No scales, so they just look a little bit more wet than normal, but they're actually just like a little rubber ball. All right, guys, if you have any questions out there, make sure to write them in the comments as we will be answering some soon. Okay, I have another question. Yes. How are salamanders born? Is it eggs? What's it, going on there? Yes, yeah, so they are a part of the amphibian family, so they do lay eggs just like frogs. But they go, mom would go right by the water area and she'd find like a nice leaf or a nice little place, bank side lay her eggs there and they can lay up about a hundred eggs. A hundred eggs? Yes, a hundred eggs. Um, the babies will hatch in about four weeks and then they sit in the water for about two to five months until they actually grow legs and come onto land. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Mom could have a hundred babies at once. That's wild. Uh -huh. All right, Kelsey, are you ready to take some questions? I am ready. The force is strong with me. Yes, it is. I can feel it. Okay, Ruby wants to know if the tiger salamanders have teeth. Ha, that is one of my favorite questions too, because <laughs> if you look at them, they look like they have no teeth. They actually have very, very small teeth. I can't even see them, but they have them on the bottom and upper jaw. When they do eat, they use their fast jaw and their tongue and then kind of chew their food and it goes right down the hatch. Okay. Nice one, Ruby. Ruby yeah, right? that, was, that was good, Ruby. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Chase, age seven, wants to know how fast they run. Oh my goodness. I think after the, oh my goodness, you missed. After the turtle derby, are we going to have a salamander derby now? Uh, oh, I think <laughs> the people are asking for it, Kelsey. I actually have not seen them go very fast. No faster <laughs> than our turtles, probably because they are very content animals. They like to be in the ground. So if they're not seen, they're like, why would I go anywhere? So I don't think they go very fast. Well, you know, we can always try. 
maybe right. we do like a, like a NASCAR race with them, kind of. You That's know, right. uh, <laughs> St. Louis 500. I don't know. We'll see. I, I think that works. I like that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ella wants to know how they sleep. Oh, uh, they sleep in the most coziest bed, dirt. When Ooh. they're resting, <laughs> sometimes they stick their little heads out, and it is the cutest thing to look at the first thing in the morning. But they do have a cozy blanket of dirt, not so much a pillow. But they rest just like us. They rest throughout the day when they can. Whenever okay. they have that opportunity. Lots of naps, right? Lots of naps. Guys, naps, naps are great. Make sure when you get a chance to take a nap, you are always taking a nap. Yes, absolutely. I want to take naps all the time. <laughs> Okay, Eliza says hello to Mandy. Oh, hi, Eliza. <laughs> Mandy <laughs> says hi. Uh, Grace, she's eight from Conway, Missouri, wants to know if some salamanders can be poisonous. Ah, uh, that is another really good question that we get a lot. So I'm actually going to be picking up Mandy here just a little bit so you can see her. And I am wearing those gloves so I can be able to protect her too. So with that coloring, you would think that she is poisonous, but she actually is not. It's mostly a defense mechanism. So if a predator was to take a look at her out in the areas and be like, huh, I want something to eat today, and I see a salamander, and it's brightly colored yellow or green, a lot of animals that are poisonous are brightly colored. So they'd be like, huh, I don't know if I want to eat her today. She is not that <laughs> delicious. So no, they are not toxic. OK. Mm -hmm. Let's I'm going to get some more gloves here, too for my babies. Danielle, well, Morgan, she's five, wants to know how many salamanders we have here at the aquarium. Ah, uh, yes, I was going to answer that question, too, because we <laughs> are missing it. a little friend here today. <laughs> so we do have four. So we have Shere Khan, Mandy, and Mando, but we have one more. We have Porg. So Porg is our other juvenile. He's resting back in his house. These are little travel carriers here. They are like a little mobile home, so they came to meet you guys this morning. So they don't live in these, but they have a home in the back, and that's where Porg is. So if you do come to the aquarium, you'll probably see Porg as well. I'm going to pick up Mandy. I mean, not Mandy. Mando. Like Mando. <laughs> Here comes Mando. Ooh, so little. Mm -hmm. Compared to Mandy and Shere Khan, he is definitely smaller. Okay. So More. sweet. You guys are so cute. So cute. OK, Morgan wants to know if they are prey for any animal. Absolutely, they are prey. Anything bigger than them, they would love to have them as a snack. Birds, <laughs> foxes, coyotes. They just look really delicious to a lot of animals that are bigger than them. OK, Kelsey, Lauren Laskin says that she misses you. Oh. Is that Laskin? Last name Laskin? Yes. That's my aunt. <laughs> Hello, aunt. <laughs> and I miss you, too. <laughs> OK, Mason is eight, wants to know how long you have worked with the tiger salamanders. Hi, Mason. Well, I have worked since we have been open since December. And let me tell you, it is a lot of fun to work with them. So if you ever are looking into being in the animal field, you got to work with the tiger salamanders. They've got personality. How did you get into the animal field? I got into the animal field ever since I was a kid. My mom took me to the zoo all the time. I was always wanting to learn more about animals. And when I saw the zookeepers, when I saw people working with animals at aquariums and zoos, I said, that's what I want for my life. So I worked really hard. I finished school. I did lots of internships, volunteering with any animal I can get my hands on. And here I am. So very fortunate. And now she's here. Now We're I'm so here. excited to have her. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. Look at his face <laughs> and their faces. Is it nap time already? Is it? <laughs> how, how often do they, they, like, once they eat, are they just ready for bed? Probably. I've seen them sleep all day, eat all day. I mean, they have the life of luxury. They don't have to worry about anything chasing after them for dinner. They don't have to worry about their next meal, so they can be like, I get to hang out with my best friends all day. That sounds like the <laughs> life. I, w I want that life. <laughs> OK, Landon wants to know if they can climb trees. Mm, that is a good question. They're not like Spider-Man. They don't have any sticky hands. Um, they rely mostly being on the ground. They uh, are kind of almost their own superheroes in, in the burrows. They like to be in the ground, dig in the ground. That is where they like to be is low. That way they can attack their prey. Okay. Similar Hi. question from Eleanor, who's seven. She wants to know if they swim. Ah, Eleanor. Do you like to swim, Eleanor? <laughs> These guys are not 
the best swimmers, even though they do lay their eggs in the water. They like to live by the water. They're not a very big um, swimming animal. A lot of times when you are looking at different amphibians or lizards or even whew, different kind of variety of animals, if they have webbed feet or toes, you can tell that they can definitely adapt in the water. Salamanders do not have any webbed toes, um, so they are not the best swimmers. But they do like to be in the water to kind of soak, but not go off dive into the deep end. All right, we have a comment from an Alex who's 25. He says, looking good, honey. That's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Thank Alex. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Love you, too. <laughs> okay, Shay wants to know if uh, their males or females and how you tell them apart. Yes, so Shere Khan is the boy, Mandy is the girl, Mando is a boy, we think. We will Ooh. probably know when he gets a little bit bigger. The way that you can tell, it's, it's hard at first glance, but boys are more stockier and bulker in the back t legs and the face. So Shere Khan is bigger than Mandy, so that's how we were able to kind of decide male, female. Mm -hmm. um, Shere Khan definitely <laughs> has those little big legs in the back, but we have to wait till Mando and Porg are a little bit bigger to tell if they're a boy or a girl. But I don't know, my heart's saying boy, strong Padawan here. Mm -hmm. Jedi master. That's right. Okay, <laughs> Stevens eight. He wants to know if they eat each other. Oh my goodness, I hope not. <laughs> 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 These guys, they like to be very self-content. If they have food access, opportunist feeders, they will definitely eat their food. I don't think they'll eat each other. Mm -hmm. If they got food, that's great. So that's also important to make sure that we're not wiping out habitat or wetland loss, so we're not like moving their food away. And then they look at each other and go, hmm, that looks delicious. <laughs> Okay, Annis is 71 and Nancy is 72 and they say, we love you guys. I don't know if you're talking about the salamanders or us, but w I hope both. We love you too. We love you too. Excited to have everyone back soon with us. I think these guys are excited too. I'm yes, <laughs> for sure. Okay, so if someone comes to the aquarium, how can they see these guys? So these guys are in animal ambassadors. So when they do come to the aquarium, we will have a sign on when our animals will uh, appear on the floor. They will be on a cart similar like this in their traveling house similar to this as well. And keep a lookout for those times. I believe those times will also be posted on their website further down the road. Uh, hopefully, we'll see everybody soon, but you'll see them kind of like in this setting with one of us kind of talking about how cool they are. Okay, so one more question from Hannah. She's eight. She wants to know if tiger salamanders make good pets. Uh, tiger salamanders, if you do see one, they should stay where they are. They're very sweet, but these guys have been born with people, raised with people, so they're a little bit different. As you can see, they know that we are part of their tiger salamander family and that we feed them breakfast and we hang out with them. So they're definitely more out of the dirt and wanting to hang out with us. Whereas the other tiger salamanders have lived in the wild for a long time. So don't pick up a tiger salamander and bring it home, leave him be because he's just as important to the environment as every other animal. He has a job. If you take him away, he can't do his job. His job is to eat all those insects so you don't have to deal with them. <laughs> yeah, so better better keep them where they are. Yes. All right, are we all out of food? Looks like it. I think we actually have one more waxworm left. I'm going to give that to Shere Khan here. All right. Yep. I got one yeah. more left, too. Can I give try and get in there? Sure can. Let's see. Whoa, that was quick. Mando, you still hungry? There yeah. we go. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, Lovely fun spaces. breakfast, Kelsey. Yes. I learned a lot for sure. We ate all our food, super fun. Yes, here I'll say have uh, Manny say goodbye to you guys. Grab up a little bit here. Always made sure I wash my hands, of course, before I picked her up, so she's gonna say sayonara. <laughs> and come all and see her right. and Shere Khan, Mando, and Porg. Yes, <laughs> soon, we hope. Yes, very okay, soon. Okay, bye Mandy. See you later. All right, guys, so, very fun breakfast with our salamanders today. Tomorrow we will have another corn stream at 10 a.m. as well as Friday. After the breakfast today, we will have a quiz and activity as always. 
super fun, kind of test the waters on what Kelsey taught us today, which was a lot. I'm going to take it. I'll probably get 100 because you're such a good teacher. I hope so. If everyone gives 100, tell us and be like, Kelsey needs to be the official teacher. Yeah, <laughs> official teacher, A+. Plus. Okay, so that's Wednesday and Friday we're doing the corn streams. On Thursday, we have a secret surprise. So while everyone's been away, we have made a new fin here at the St. Louis Aquarium. Someone has a new home here, and we haven't told anyone yet. So it is a secret. surprise. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to do some teasers to see if you can kind of figure out who that new fin is. And then we're going to have breakfast with the new fin on Thursday. Gotta it's gonna tuned. be it's gonna be so <laughs> fun. So we'll post some teasers today so you can try and figure out and guess who our new fin is and then stay tuned on Thursday because we're gonna have breakfast with them. Okay? So big day. Hope you had fun today. Thank you, Kelsey, for joining us. Thank you. And we will see you soon. See you soon. See you later. Bye. My goodness, they are so cute. <laughs>